Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to discuss how you can delete the Windows recovery partition in order to get more disk space, for example, for your system partition. Well, the recovery partition is a partition that Windows creates during installation. And in case Windows doesn't boot, you can use the recovery partition to reset Windows to the default settings. However, the partition is not required to run Windows. It's just for recovery. And you can also run the recovery from a Windows installation USB stick. So you can create a USB installation stick for Windows and you can start the recovery from there. So you can use the disk space. However, um, well, it really depends uh, how much disk space you have available on your computer. In my case, for example, I have a netbook which has limited storage and so there it makes sense to delete to delete the recovery partition. I would not do that if, for example, I have a bigger hard drive. Uh, then it doesn't make sense to delete the partition because, well, you can see it's not that big in size. Well, how to delete the recovery partition? Uh, if you, we are here in disk management and if I right click here, well, you cannot do anything with the partition here. It's protected from Windows, so we cannot use disk management. But what we can do is we can launch the disk part utility. So just enter disk part in the start menu and run the command. And this will open the command line disk partition tool. In there, we can use list disk to see all the disks in our computer. As you can see here, we have disk zero, which basically is the same as here. And we can select the disk, select disk zero, and then we can show the partitions on the disk with list part. And here we see all the four partitions, and we see also our partition four, which is the recovery partition. And now we select the partition four, select part four. And now we have selected the partition. And now we can delete the partition with delete part and override. You need the override parameter here to do that because well, it's a system partition. Hit enter and the partition was successfully deleted. And as you can see here in disk management, the disk space here is now unallocated. And in order to use the disk space here, we can now right click on our C partition here and extend the volume, hit next, click next again and finish. And now you can see we are now using all the disk space for our C partition. And that's how you can delete the recovery partition in Windows.